Hello. Anybody Anybody home? home? I'll draw draw your character if you just show yourself. yourself. Just kidding about the tasing part. No one gets tased in this video. Sorry about not tasing anyone. I'm gonna give a quick refresher of what I do here just in case. Basically, I pretend to be a beginner artist offering people free art, when in reality, art is actually my main. Just look at this amazing non-referential stat chart. Okay, without further ado, smooth trans- TRANSITION! Same account, new username. I'll be offering my art in the art library. It's a pretty nice and dandy server I found. Hello. After years of doing chores, I finally saved up enough to buy a drawing tablet. Wow, the little face. I'm not very good at art yet, but may I please draw some of your OCs to practice? Just for good measure, I'm going to send this image of a cat. The server, as you can see, it's not as popular as the one we used last time, so it might take a while before we get message requests. Oh, oh, that took like 10 minutes. That took like only 10 minutes. Hi, you said you wanted OCs to practice. Hmm. If you're still taking them, then can you draw them? Hmm. I'd love to. Yes, please. Nikki over here has a murder drone to OC. Very cool. So for those who don't know, I hit 100k a few days ago, which is crazy. It's insane. And I made a little community post asking if anyone had any questions about me. So now we'll be going over those. Welcome to the mandatory milestone Q&A. Mr. I am noob YT asks, when did you start drawing? By far, this was one of the most asked questions that I kept seeing. I've been drawing ever since I've been carnated onto this universe, but you could say that I probably started taking it more seriously in 2020. Suddenly, we were all stuck inside with a lot of time on our hands, and drawing just happened to be really time consuming. AK asks, what did you do to improve your art, and also what inspired your Roblox avatar lol? For that first bit, when I really started focusing more on improving my art, I looked up on YouTube how to get better at drawing. And then the rest was history. And as for how I came up with my avatar, my friend username laughed at this circle-shaped avatar his friend had, and I thought it was funny enough to recreate. And uh, now look where we are. Thanks, username. Yay, we're done. Now, I could just send this on its own, and that'd be pretty cool. But I think it'd be even cooler if we made a scuffed version first to send it to him just like last time. And this time we'll be doing it on Microsoft Paint. There's a strange, like, charm to beginner's art that I can't exactly replicate. It reminds me of when I just made art without a care in the world. I still make art without a care in the world, but now I have stuff like school to deal with. Whenever I used to draw characters, I'll draw like the arm. I'll give him this teeny tiny little oodalali hand. Oh, it's beautiful. It's immaculate. Thank you. Hi, I finished it. Oh my god, it's so cute. No, no. I'm dissing it because it's my own art, but truth be told, if a beginner artist came up to me and showed me a drawing that they made of my OC, I would probably freak out and love them forever. Here's the other one. Thanks for being kind. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, thank you. <laughs> of course. Don't tell anyone about the second one XD. I won't. Don't worry. Miki, you deserve it. You're super kind. Thank you. All right, on to the next person. Funny enough, I saw a video recently, and even your description matches LOL. No! I didn't change- I didn't change my description from the last video. Crap, you already know. Thanks for telling me, Alameo. Not a word. Okay, gotta find another one. Oh my goodness. Does this one work on Discord? <laughs> oh, this is perfect. No one's gonna suspect Jack now. This person just said, hey, could you draw my character without sending anything? Oh, they've been playing Minecraft for three hours. I apologize for distracting you. Okay, Joshy said, Hi, I saw the request thing in the art library for OC drawings, and I was wondering if I can hand over some of my OCs for you to draw. Sure thing. I'd love, love to. Please send me your OCs. Okay, now we just gotta see which of these goobers respond first. Only a few seconds have passed for you guys, but it's the next day for me. And Joshi is giving me a lot of references. I have my eye on this guy. And also he has the same MBTI as me. I'm also an INFJ. Real Rosa asks, How did you get your own art style? I think my art style comes from an accumulation of a bunch of YouTube tutorials and also constructive criticism from my friends. The more I drew, the more I found out what aspects I like putting into my art more, such as the plethora of bright saturated colors I add into every piece. I don't have a specific reason, I just think it's fun and it makes me happy. What's the conclusion to the 9 plus 10 equation? 9 plus 10 is not an equation, but 9 plus 10 is equal to Do you like waffles? I like waffles, but my family typically never buys them, so I only have them when I go to my friend's house for a sleepover. 
over. Can you show images of your first art? My very first drawings were done on paper, but there are also some ancient artifacts from 2018 saved on my computer. Here's fan art I made that I never posted of two Minecraft YouTubers. Here's art I made of a dead Roblox game. Here's art of me trying to design a Pokemon My Little Pony character. I don't even know what's going on in this piece, but I think I enjoyed drawing it. And the guy in the middle was done by my friend. What inspired you to begin doing YouTube content? When I started making videos, I based my videos off of another YouTuber called Wondernet. But that wasn't YouTube content, I was just fidgeting around with the editing software. I think all of you contributed to my inspiration and motivation to actually keep going with the videos I was making, and now I actually make content. I really like this character. I chose well. Anyways. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did anyone else do this with hoodies? Where they just make these little bumps or whatever instead of an actual hood? I would not use any other words than gorgeous and immaculate to describe this. Hey, I'm back. So I drew two. H -h 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 -h. Oh my god. Here is the first one. Oh, this is so cute. Ah, this is so cute! <laughs> no. I love everything about it. <laughs> oh. Hey, ha, thank you so much. Here's the second one. There you go. Have fun. <laughs> I H, my gosh. E. <laughs> The way I put down my ramen to take a closer look. I'm glad you like it. Josh is so nice. <laughs> I love it, thank you. Your OCs are awesome. Have a good day, Joshi. Oh, uh, okay. Next one. This guy's this guy's character is awesome. Riverend asks, if you were to give advice to all artists who watch your content, what would it be? I personally do art as a hobby, so this might not apply to everyone. This one piece of advice really stuck with me throughout my entire time drawing. Make art that you enjoy instead of what you think you're supposed to be making. Art is a hobby for a lot of people, so it's really important that you enjoy what you're making. So draw for yourself. No one else is allowed to decide that for you. Go have fun. What inspired you to start drawing in the first place? As far as I looked, I couldn't remember. I just really like drawing. I don't know what to tell you. When I was younger, I did draw a lot of Minecraft and Pokemon things though. How did you create Orb? For people who don't know, I made this channel so that I could learn how to edit. The initial purpose of this channel was just to archive my videos because I would not have enough space on my laptop. The name Orb just kind of fit my Roblox avatar at the time and I thought it was a really funny name. Slapped a screenshot of my Roblox avatar preview as a profile picture and now we're here. I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart because it's true. I did not expect to make it past 10 subscribers. But it took one comment asking for a part two for me to start making these a lot more often. And from that, I am here now, so thanks. This is probably the best edgy thing I've ever drawn today. It's awesome. All right. Such a nice, wonderful character. Anyways. Again, with a tiny little bumps as a hoodie. Oh my goodness, you're beautiful. Welcome to the world. Okay, I'll make it, I'll make it so that it looks like I have a tiny bit of experience. So I'll put like nonsensical folds everywhere. This is something I was infamous of doing. I just put a lot of folds everywhere because I refuse to learn how clothing physics work. And then the hair as well, I would do this. Okay. Okay, this is done. Welcome. All that's left to do is send it over to them. Bye. Hi, okay, so I drew two of them. Here is the first one. And we got another message request for another OC drawing. This is awesome. This is perfect timing. Okay, meanwhile, he responds. Let's go see this other request. This man is on Minecraft again. Hi, I saw you wanted some OCs to draw. Here's mine if you want. Sure thing. Jara Simo asks, do you enjoy drawing? I mean, yeah. How old is your OC? I'm 15, so probably 15. What is your favorite thing to draw? I can't pick and I won't ever pick. I love drawing a lot of things. Picking one is not an option. How is your day going? Depending on when you watch this video, I'm probably doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. What's your favorite color? Final answer, purple. I really like purple. Where do you get your art inspiration from? To feel inspired, I usually just have to listen to music and then I just dump my brain onto a canvas. If not, then I'll just look on social media for cool artists I follow, something special. What's your favorite clothes style? I don't have too big of a fashion sense, so I just wear whatever's most comfortable. I do like combining certain colors to make myself look more presentable. What is something else you enjoy doing in your free time except for art? Recently, to spice up my life, I've been exploring coffee shops near my school. I like finishing up my homework there and it's a really good way to be outside. Not too shabby okay i've never drawn a cyclops character so i don't i don't know how to make it look good <laughs> i think this one turned out pretty cool i like the colored eyeball send me more creature characters for me to draw you've been here long enough i don't need to explain what i'm doing now we love the good old triangle necks i miss triangle necks so much <laughs> just kidding i, I, I don't <laughs> yay these little highlights make it look a little better yay oh <laughs> so precious hi Oh, thank you so much. They look amazing. 
Oh, thank you. I drew another one. Oh, it doesn't look like they saw it yet, but it's okay. We can, we can wait. Whoa, oh my gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Yeah, they look amazing. I love it so much. Everyone on the server is so nice. What the heck? Thank you. Oh, we got the second guy response. Mr. Plague says, I like it. Thanks, here is the second one. <laughs> can I, can I show that on my channel? I don't, I don't know. Oh yeah, I love it. Hey, thank you. Have a good day now. Enjoy your Minecraft gaming. You too. I couldn't get as many DMs as I did in the last server since this one's pretty small, but I liked it overall. Just another small, cozy art community being really nice and really sweet. Remember around a month ago where I said that I wouldn't hit 5,000 subscribers? And then we proceeded to hit 10,000, and then 20,000, and then 30,000, and then basically demolished all of my expectations for this channel? But in the- in a positive way, I mean. I don't really have anything prepared to say for this. First of all, I never expected this would happen, so I just- I never th thought that I would need to be like, oh, thank you, thank you so much for 100k. In the end though, I don't think anything big is gonna change. I'm still me, I'm gonna keep making videos that I enjoy, and it already means a lot that there's people out there who is willing to follow my content. That in itself is baffling. To have 100,000 people do the same thing is d even crazier. You could have been here when I posted those two videos in June of 2023 and then I just left. Or you could just be finding my channel right now through this video, and welcome. I've said this over and over and over again on my live streams, but you, as the person watching, you make it possible for me to have this awesome, kind, supportive community. I don't know what else to say, I'm recording this at 12 in the morning, uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad there's people out there that enjoy what I make as much as I do, is what I'm trying to say. I'm glad people find me entertaining enough to listen to me talk into a microphone for like 10 minutes straight. I was just gonna put a boring end card here, but... My Discord server went ahead and surprised me with a bunch of really awesome 100,000 fan art gift stuff, so here's that instead. 